good morning. It is Wednesday today and it's a very, very, very wet day. Ugh, and look at those extra bits of mortar that have fallen off my chimney as well. Look, just every time I open my door, there's more of it. So my boyfriend and I are going to be very busy today. He's coming to collect me in about 15 minutes from now. In fact, my eyes are going over to the window there to see if his car's pulling up outside, but uh, not yet, it isn't. Every so often, he has a big sort of party, but it's like a music playing party. So he'll invite as many of his musician friends as he can fit into his house comfortably and be able to feed and provide for you know so it's, he's restricted on numbers so that's happening today so he's gonna pick me up we're gonna go to a big big asda and do all the shopping for his party and then we're gonna go back to his place which he has been cleaning he's been changing all the bedding cleaning it up getting it all ready for everybody and then we're gonna set work catering so we're gonna be making some big amounts of food and i don't know what yet because he's gonna tell me what he wants hey look i didn't even notice this has changed from ib needed his tooth taming is he apparently did this and it took me about two days to notice <laughs> anyway speaking of food i haven't had any breakfast and um oh by the way that was delicious me and izzy had that last night oh yummy there's loads of lovely food left over anyway look i made this yesterday for tea and i haven't had breakfast yet i'm gonna quickly nosh a bit now just cold out the fridge this is just basically tagliatelle, fresh tagliatelle, you know, uh, just done with some fried mushrooms and cream and some black pepper. That's all it is. And it's so delicious. It's like mild, but delicious. And we had that with a load of vegetables and some salmon for our tea last night, our Boxing Day tea. But I'm going to eat some of that cold now. So I better stop rabbiting on, get on with that and speak to you later. Oh, look, look at the feet. The silhouetted feet. Well, we've just pulled up to the car park at Asda and oh, uh, my camera's doing a great job of focusing on the rain. I'm gonna open the window. Look what's over there on the grassy bank, having a munch. Horses, are they wild? I don't know. Presumably, they're not that particularly uh, well groomed. No. I don't know if you have pounds for this Asda trolley, so I don't know. Some Asdas do, some don't, I think. Anyway, we've been sat in the car ages looking at the rain and talking about what we're actually doing. I'm going to make a big, big veggie chilli. I'm going to be in charge of the chilli ingredients and Ivy's going to be in charge of everything else. So we're going to get a trolley each, separate, <laughs> go on the mission. I'll take 20 times as long as you because I'll be filming everything. No, I won't really. <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm quite quick, right. really. Okay, I stand corrected. We do need uh, pounds for this one. Do some Asda's not have pounds in the trolley? Am I imagining that? I don't know. Right, I'm going in, camera away because it's raining. Now, for some reason, Ivy is disappearing up the escalator towards the clothing section. I think you might be getting bedding. Now, I've wondered about this before. How does that happen? <laughs> the swaying sign phenomenon. And then it, it's, it's got its momentum then, hasn't it? It, it just keeps going. Right, let's make this a really economical chilli. £1.40 for all those peppers. £1.25 for those. I do prefer green ones myself. £1.40. Well, there's six in there. That's obviously more economical, isn't it? Celery, 55 pence. Oh, the blueberries are 40 pence. Are they mouldy? Oh, they look right. Let's get some of those, shall we? I'm sure IB doesn't know it yet, but he wants blueberries to feed to me. Oh, what's this? 65 pence. Mm -hmm. Still not that cheap, is it? Mushrooms, 21, ready sliced, excellent. I can just throw them straight in. Wanted mushrooms. I'm not a fan of Swede, but that would have been 12 pence. What? Look at the size of these blueberries, they're massive. Now, here in the UK, we don't tend to see big blueberries like that. They look like grapes to me. My goodness gracious. They're one pound three. People will nibble on them, won't they? Yeah, let's do that. 21 pence for this salad. Mm. Ivy does not like manky salad. Reduced to clear does not definitely mean manky, but sometimes it is manky, so you have gotta check. I'm gonna get some onions for the chili, because it will make it extra delicious. Hopefully I don't get a tummy ache. Oh, look at this lacy frilly packaging for the aubergines. 85 pence for an aubergine, definitely going in my chili. 80 pence for courgettes, for two courgettes. These are much bigger. I don't know how that's still 80p, but I'm getting them. In the car we were discussing doing some baked potatoes as well. I don't know how many. I think he's got five or six people, so that's definitely gonna be enough. I wonder if there are any more mushrooms, because I think I could do with some more. I'd like some spinach, that's a pound. What's the difference between that and the 75 pence one, I wonder? They all look the same to me. Well, I'm not sure how much that is then. Hopefully people like spinach. Sometimes people cannot like spinach, can't they? It's like, it's one of those things. Oh, I see yellow. 
30p nah oh broccoli would be nice so 30 it's only 30p anyway let's just get a big one that'll bump up the chili lovely there weren't any more mushrooms in the reduced to clear so that's what i'm doing here i'm looking for more and not finding it basically um let's get him a garlic 39 pence he has ginger but i'm gonna probably use a load so i can displace it with that i still haven't found those mushrooms we need to go hunting ah, for a mushroom lover this is like the sight of heaven I love chestnut mushrooms actually I think they're gorgeous but I really like flat cap because they soak up all the juices of what you're cooking it in oh those are jumbo and no, we don't need jumbo these will do uh, how much is that 85 pence for those hopefully this isn't overkill but there will be breakfast being cooked in the morning so I'll, I'll get to and I'll confer with him when we meet up look look the quality streets are two pound I totally don't need any more chocolate in my life. We're gonna be eating our chocolate stash until March. So I'm not gonna get them, but oh my goodness. Somebody was just going past with about six of them piled up in their trolley. I conferred with IB. I said, do you need any for your guests? He said, hmm, we could put one in the cupboard. So guess what? We're having one. Oh yeah. There you go, love. Right, I'm off. I'm gonna go and get rice and stuff. I'm looking at the rice. I always do too much rice. I'm rubbish at measuring out rice. I usually end up cooking at least double. It's four pound for two kilos or seven pound for four kilos. So you get a pound off effectively if you buy that, but I think he'll kill me if I get him a sack. <laughs> he doesn't like storing stuff, you know. He likes to just have what he's gonna need. Whereas I'm a complete hoarder, I'll get him that four pound for that basmati. And I'll see what he thinks before we go to the checkout. I'm gonna buy this cumin for 80 pence. For a nice big packet like that. I'm gonna pick him up a can of coconut milk, not for today, but to replace the one I opened the other day. Oh, these are yummy. He will thank me for getting two packets of these for later. When everyone's back from the pub. Frustratingly, we didn't think in time about things like spices before leaving the house because I have loads of those at home. But anyway, I'm gonna get some of those for 75 pence. I can't find whole coriander and I've got loads of them at home. This is so frustrating, but I think we'll just have to not have whole coriander today. I'm gonna get some of this. I think he's got some, but it's likely to get drunk, isn't it? Ugh. A lot of the um, like soft drinks have got caffeine in, haven't they? That's the thing. You end up drinking too many cans of coke well something very sweet just happened when i was here looking for these coriander seeds there was another lady trying to find stuff as well and she was saying oh it's all the same color it's so hard to find isn't it and we were having a bit of a laugh about it and getting the giggles and anyway she found them it's just it was the expensive brand but i don't think i'd be on mine um so she came and found me and said i found it i found what you're looking for <laughs> And there it is. I cannot find tins of tomatoes. I've been down these aisles before. I'm going down them again. I want red kidney beans and tinned tomatoes. This is the flipping herbs aisle again. I've been down here three times. I've also been down the lentils and pulses aisle several times and not find it. Let's see if we can see it on the third go. Tomato soup, chunky soup, more soup. No, I'm not going mad. It's definitely not there. That's all sort of ready-made sauces and pasta this is blinking ridiculous i got off to such a flying start things were flying into the basket at top speed i thought ha oh, i'm gonna be done for i be but trying to find the tinned pulses is proving to be a bit of a challenge i've basically ground to a complete standstill and i don't want to get the veggie mince which is frozen until last because it's frozen i asked an attendant the mystery has been solved we found the tomatoes do you know what there's no label on the aisle and everything else is like sweeties and chocolate. See, no aisle marker and chocolate, sweeties, chocky biscuits, Haribos, tin tomatoes. <laughs> you can see why I got confused. Right, I'm gonna grab loads of these. So I've got six tins of the chopped tomatoes and four tins of the red kidney beans. He won't need all this for today, but it's a good cupboard staple because it's so cheap and nutritious. Right, the chopped tomatoes are 32 pence a tin. It's actually cheaper for the peeled plum tomatoes and they are nicer in my opinion. I think they're much more full of flavor, but because I've got a lot to do, it's just gonna be more convenient to throw the ready chopped ones in. And the red kidney beans are 33 pence a tin. Hey, I'm not buying Marmite, but I was doing a bit of a price comparison in Lidl's the other day between Marmite, Marmite, Marmite and own brand so this is three pounds ten for Marmite but the Asda equivalent is only two pounds and I know a lot of people do prefer the own brand I don't so I don't get it but there it is oh and the veggie mite two pounds twenty anyway I am in the aisle of the veggie mint so am I going to get corn because we just it's my favorite I think it's the nicest honestly oh they've got a big bag how much is that 
Oh, hang on. Oh, it's on the front, isn't it? <laughs> I've fallen prey to that before. The prices are on the front. Look, it's way cheaper to buy that big value bag. That's £2.95 for that much. And that's £2.50 for that. So that works out at £8.33 per kilo. That works out at £5.90 per kilo, which is significantly cheaper, isn't it? It's only another 45 pence more than the little one. All right, so that's going in. I think I've got everything. And this is great timing, because just approaching right now is my other half. Oh, he's got the loo roll sorted. He's got Oatly. Oatly's like more than two pound a thing now. We're at the checkout. Look at all that lot. Those are both ours. IB has just said something that's music to my ears. The thing that was music to my ears might have involved a little trip to the cafe. Oh, vlogging and duh. Oh, struggling with the trolley, it's going zigzaggy. Just park him here for now. We forgot fresh coriander. They've got a bit of a limited selection at the moment. Um, in the way of vegetarian, the only thing um, that's like in the sort of toasty or sandwichy sort of department is this mozzarella and pesto gluten-free toasty. Toasty? That's not a toasty. It's a burrito. Okay, it's that. <laughs> They're heating it up for me now. IB's just gone to get some sauces. We've gone for a Coke Zero. And uh, yeah, so this has been heated up. So we'll try that, see what it's like. Yeah, it's tasty enough. Very beany and, and a good taste of chilli in there, which I like. See this? Fell out of the burrito. I was thinking, is it worth me getting a fork now? Aha, uh -huh, but look what we have. <laughs> Two straws that we didn't use. Let's see if this will work. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> yeah. Mm, got it. <laughs> right, we're about to leave, but I've just run back to get some coriander. How much is this coriander? I'm not sure, actually. I bet it's 55 pence, though, because everything else is. Oh, it looks a bit manky, doesn't it? Hmm. Not sure they look very nice, you know. Oh, hmm. What's that? That's coriander. Oh, that is a bit better. There we go, we'll get to. Here comes the rain, do 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 Okay, well it's not coming, I and it was already there, to be honest. My bee's just given me the rest of my Christmas present, the one with that um, DI box. Oh, we're in, by the way. Time to unpack all the shopping and, well, get cooking, I think. Tumble dryer's on, IB's drying lots of bedding and things that he's been washing. We've had three people cry off so far, haven't we? So the numbers are diminishing. IB has finally put his Christmas tree up, upstairs, where he usually stores his Christmas decorations. He was gonna tidy them up and he thought, oh, where can I put them? I know, I'll just stick it all together and keep it where it is and it'll look better than a box of Christmas tree and decorations. Better late than never. We have yet more bedding dry drying up here. This is the bar, <laughs> I suppose. Oh, I think this is all the olive oil we have. I mean, I like to put a lot in when I'm using aubergine. ib has got these yummy things, look. Olives and cheese bits, oh yummy, I'll put them in the fridge. Some of these dips as well. I've uh, been putting things on the windowsill that uh, don't need to go in the fridge, you know. There are lots of meats and cheeses in there as well. Enough bread to actually sink a battleship. Washing up liquid. IB calls that squeezy. Big enormous thing, a lure pack. Coffee. Mm, what's this? This has turned into a food haul and shopping vlog. I think I've got enough for a vlog already and I haven't even really started my day yet. Yes! I said, I be you haven't by any chance got a spare stash of olive oil, have you? And he said, yes, in my overflow emergency cupboard. Oh, look, he had loads of rice as well. There was me pondering about buying him a sack of rice and him not approving. Turns out he's already got loads. Well, we should probably use that and put the other one in there then, shouldn't we? Oh, good, I'm glad I've looked in here. Excellent. Oh, extra virgin as well. And we made another really annoying discovery as well. There's a whole flipping unopened bag of whole coriander, but do you know what? I'm gonna use the smaller one that we got today because that's got about two years left on it on the sell-by date. And once they're open, they go dry and I'll be the only one that cooks with them, so it's better to have the smaller one open. Without any further ado, I had to make myself a cup of tea to sup whilst cooking. I've made one for his lordship too. Oh, he's just coming in. I never cry on camera. I'm making the most of the opportunity. It's the onions. <laughs> I'm not a crier. Oh, ow, but those are stinging my eyes. Look, it's at a point at which it can be left. There's five tins of tomatoes in there. My boyfriend is about to inflate something that I bought him for his birthday and I'm gonna come and witness the event with the camera. I'm just filming the stages. Okay, he's gonna turn it on. I missed the starting moment. I think it will pull itself out. Oh, it's going up. 
like a reptile moving its head at the end. Oh, it's craning its neck out. It should go up quite high, like a decent size. What do you think? What do you think it's ready? But it looks all kind of squishy at the bottom still. Okay. Yeah, got leeway. Oh, that's not done at all, no. It's gonna get quite firm. I've experienced these before. They, they go nice and firm. I'm squeezing it to see when I think it's done. I mean, I think it could be done, but I think we're nearly there. Really? I think so. You don't want them all boying in about on it, do you? Here's the immo test. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to stay here for a few hours. It says no trampolining. I'm just letting you know. Does it? Yeah. Just in case you're tempted to boing on top of it. Here's the other one, droning away. I feel a Scotland the Brave moment coming along. <laughs> luxurious doesn't it like super king size i thought even a couple would be better on two singles than one double because you know what it's like with an airbed one person moves and then it sort of boings the other person up in the air i think in real life it'd be better to have two beds pushed together than one double as well for the same reason i think you're likely to sleep better if you're not getting jiggled about ib is going to set up another bed in here he's got a camp bed somewhere this is where we do our rehearsing i've just put a bit of wine in that food it tastes very nice but it's very sweet oh it's dripping look i haven't got a lid to fit the pan for some reason. It's a specimen apparently, or specimen, I don't know how to pronounce that. Why are you putting your feet on it? No, I don't make it dirty. What do you think? It's not liking it like an airbed. It's not as comfy as an airbed. I mean, it's okay, it's narrow, isn't it? There's like bars sticking up, which could be good if somebody's a bit well oiled and they need a bit of extra protection to stop them falling out of bed. Could be, oops, just yeah. change focus. Yes, it does that. It's because it's on the way up. There's no rolling potential. Let's see if it tips up. It doesn't tip up, which is very reassuring because one thing about it is you're always scared that the little thing's going to tip up on the camp bed, aren't you? So it's nice and stable. We had a bit of a change of heart about the bedding arrangements. So we got one blow-up mattress in here. Apparently there was only going to be one person sleeping on here, but because Ivy only had a double duvet, he said, well, let's have two beds, otherwise it'll look silly. And I said, no, it won't, just fold it over. So um, we folded it over. Because that other one wasn't that comfortable, we've set another one up in here. And <laughs> because we got like a man sleeping here, Ivy's made me turn it over. But look, that's what's on the other side of it. I'm sure they don't care, frankly, whether they got fairies on their bedding or not. So we're pretty much all set up now, really. Ivy's just washing the last few dishes. He's doing his very noisy washing up. He's the noisiest washer up, but he'll go quiet now. He's going to go really quiet now. He's doing that on purpose for the vlog, but he's not far off that normally. It's when you hear things chipping and then there's little shards of porcelain and um, Pyrex in the washing up water, you've got to watch out. Yeah. This is tasting delicious. It's not really tasting like a chilli, I must admit, but I like it. It'll never be made the same again. Did I tell you I put some wine in it? Can't remember. I'm going to put the spinach in at the last moment and we will wash and chop up the coriander at the last moment. Pick out the bits that are going a bit manco. Oh, my chilli's back on. I thought that was turned off. I must have done that. We have got in there a room full of people. We've all been playing music together and I'm just starting to think about putting the rice on. More beer has appeared. <laughs> oh my, oh, oh, watch out. Dinner has been eaten and we're off to the pub. There's a, a, a road pub coming up. I'm having a zoom with Gerard. His protrudes more than mine does. <laughs> in 
under this with my arm and I'm playing. It's a bit bristly. We've all come back to IB's house now. I'm sneaking up here to chat to the camera. I think it's about half past 11, something like that. We're gonna go into the office where I do my filing work and play some more tunes because it's completely isolated from any neighbors or anything. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching it. Could you please give the video a like? If you liked it, subscribe down below for more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one.